class. I think even this class number is something else now. 631 or something? 631. But anyway, uh, it's the same. We teach image processing and computer vision in this class. So when I explain things, uh, I will try to be bilingual. So I will explain in English, and then I will explain in Thai when it's an important concept for the undergraduate students who may be interested if, if, they're, still, if they're still here. Uh, I think the undergraduate class is 481 or something. Four, I don't know. Anyway, so we are running the two classes together. And there is a version of this class currently uh, running on the internet somewhere, supposed to be, for those people at Chiang Mai to watch. So uh, there's a mixture of three groups listening to this lecture right now, I think. Okay, <laughs> I don't know, but it seems like there should be. Uh, at least two, two are here, and one is at home somewhere. Um, for the Chiang Mai group, I will be going there every, year, every month, at the end of each month, uh, beginning every sa last Saturday of each month, I will be going to Chiang Mai for six-hour lectures. So they are expected to watch the lecture here, and when I go, it's just a tutorial. And the tutorial is completely in Thai, because we don't have much time and we have to, it's just, it's just a tutorial. The lecture is in English, this is the lecture, and they get a video, and then uh, when I go once a month, I will brief them just the concepts in Thai as a tut tutoring, and then they will have quiz just like here, every two, two quizzes, every two lectures, so one quiz every lecture like you, you have over here. So it's very similar. Um, actually, it's the same class. Uh, let me pass the syllabus for this class. And uh, could you just pass this to the back? Just pass this. Um, let's see. In in this class, uh, it used to be 633. I just found out today, that, but I had already printed this. I just found out today that they renumbered it. It's 631 now? Okay. So it's 631 now. And uh, it's about computer vision. Now, in a nutshell, what is the meaning of computer vision? Computer vision deals with the area of trying to make computers able to see, in a sense. So the, the point is, you study ways of using images to make the computer able to see what is out in the world. For example, um, it could be shape, it could be distance, it could be recognition of people, recognition of license plate, it could be uh, detection of when a ball is going to hit you or when a car is going to hit you so you can run away. So just about any application, any practical application that requires human interaction involves us to use our eyes. Right? Most, of, most applications involve us to use our eyes. So if you want a good robot, the robot should be able to see. And that's the whole idea of computer vision in a nutshell. 
But of course, it's a very difficult, cha- it's a very difficult and challenging task. And so far, we haven't been able to even begin to solve the problems. But engineering-wise, the problem has been solved to some level. In other words, given a controlled environment, a lab environment, you can expect some good results using computer vision. But if you talk about a a general environment in an unconstrained environment, uh, computer vision is still a very challenging task. For example, if you if you make a computer system drive a car, drive a car, it cannot do in Bangkok anywhere. But if you drive on the highway and you train it for some time, maybe on Expressway 1, Thang Duan, Khan Thi Nung, Khan Thi Song, you can probably make it succeed just on the highway. You might have trouble getting on and getting off, but on the highway with the nice lines, assuming it doesn't rain, (laughs) you can get it working at some some level. Okay? So so the challenge is is very much there. As a research topic, it's very open. Uh, There are millions of PhD topics or masters or undergraduate senior project topics in this area millions. Um, Just about any variation uh, can still be done. The most basic of uh, computer vision is image processing. That's the first thing you do. In image processing, you you take an image and you find edges or you do something to the image. You make it clearer or you find where the edges are. Even today, people are able to get PhDs just doing image processing. So it's still a very much a research area. Uh, so that's because it's, it's a very almost unsolvable area because it requires information from all areas. Um, you know, some people say that it cannot be done because you don't have enough information about the world. Uh, humans, we humans know too much about the world. We know what cars look like. We know uh, how big they are. We know a lot of things that we've learned since childhood. uh, And we can't teach the computer all that. So that's one of the problems that makes it an unconstrained and and uh, uh, unsolvable, almost seemingly unsolvable problem. Uh, When you watch the movie like AI and you see this little boy walking around and moving around, I'm sure that with the knowledge we have today, uh, it will still take many, maybe never, if you ask me, uh, to, to get to that level. But it doesn't mean you stop. You, you keep trying and you keep seeing where you can go. From the progress in this area, frankly speaking, since I have started studying this area until today, there hasn't been much progress. There, there hasn't been exponential progress. Unlike, unlike hardware, you know, when I studied computer, when I studied computers first year, we were still using, it was the last year, I never used punch cards, but they just stopped using punch cards. So we used this, one computer was one big room, but today a notebook can do so much more. So you can see that there's progress in that area. Memory, you know, we talk in terms of gigabytes. But when you come to computer vision or artificial intelligence, for that matter, there hasn't been much progress. Not much, okay? Uh, so that's one of the reasons that um, it's still, still a very open area. Uh, natural language understanding, I think there's been more progress where you can speak and the and the computer can interpret what you're saying, even if you speak continuously. Uh, but with vision, not much of that. Okay, so that's more, more or less my opinion. Uh, I've come to Thailand from graduating for 10 years now, and when I go back to these conferences, they're still at the same place that 
that they were 10 years ago. So the front line of research is still very much 